Assalamualaikum and a very good day. I would gladly be to the panel of judges. First things first, I would like to express my huge, huge gratitude in giving me this golden opportunity to participate in this job interview. I am very, very enthusiastic and keen to serve your company, which is Starbucks and Dian Berhad as a quality control auditor. So without further ado, let us carry on to the main event. So this presentation will be started by giving a very brief information regarding this presentation. So first is about the introductions of myself where I will give a brief personal information and educational background of myself. Secondly is the big why, in which are the reasons why I choose this pathway as my career of interest. Thirdly is my expertise in which I will explain about my strength and my area of improvement. And lastly is about personality tests or known as Holland's Test. Starting off with introduction, my name is Mamad Azizi Chua. I was born in 5th December 1999. I'm a former graduate of Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. If you do have any questions, please ask me through my email or my phone number and I would happily to entertain you. So these are the big why, in which the reason why I choose this pathway as my career of interest. I was inspired by one of your research and development officers that I would involve myself in food and beverages industry specialized under coffee. So it is my interest to become a barista and an auditor specialized under quality control. Secondly, it's all about adventures. I have been told by your R&D officers that I mentioned this now that this job involves traveling. I do believe that I am the perfect candidate of this position as I would love to travel around Malaysia and if I'm lucky, travel around the world to discover coffee. It is all because of my third point, in which are uh, to learn. In my opinion, knowledge is unlimited. I know that Starbucks is not an ordinary shop, but it is a very high quality company in which implements very high international standards such as ISO 9001 and many more. I do believe that many knowledge are hidden in the words of Starbucks that I am very keen to learn and know about it. Talking about strength, I declare myself as a hardworking and organized person. Secondly, I have a very, very good communication skills. This strengths mention will be further explained along with my job experience and my educational background. Yes, indeed, I was a former partner in Starbucks Coffee, Warisan Square, Kota Kinabalu Branch, hashtag code 074. As a partner of Starbucks, we do learn lots of activities that involve communication skill, adaptability skills, and multitasking. So basically, coffee testing session is one of the compulsory sessions that we need to do as a partner towards the consumer of Starbucks. It is to expose the knowledge of coffee to customers. Conducting a coffee testing session will need a high communication skill. So I do believe that I have trained my communication skill by working in Starbucks for just three months by having this coffee testing session. One of the achievements that I managed to get throughout my experience are uh, my store managed to get the top selling of nitro cold brew coffee in Malaysia. Secondly, I was involved in Starbucks research and development audit. I was appointed to conduct a coffee testing session in front of the auditors. So throughout working in Starbucks, I do manage to sharpen my communication skill and thus applying it to the university level until now. Back in university life, I was also a former barista for Rich Yamo Coffee. Basically, Rich Yamo Coffee is one of the famous local coffee shops that has been open in Malaysia since 2012. I work in a Rich Yamo Coffee branch in University Technology Malaysia, Skudai. Aside from that, I was also a dispatch boy for Maklong Clay Pot Recipe in UTM Skudai. Basically, I do two part-time jobs during my studies. Well, I do declare myself as a hardworking and organized person is because of me myself able to juggle all those things while studying. As we all know, as a student, it is very hard to balance between part-time work, studies, and also our own interests. But I myself managed to juggle everything stably with proper time management and hence graduate with first class degree holder. For my interest, I play a bunch of musical instruments and I would able to arrange musical songs. I am also a former band manager for Chancellor Star Talent Show Program under university level. Secondly, I am a band member of Chitra Daxina UTM Modern Band. Basically, I do understand that when you see this picture, you will describe the word talent. Well, in my point of view, the word talent is directly proportional 
onto the word of creativity. The word creativity is equals to the word versatility. Well, you will be asking this question, what is the relationship between an auditor and a talent boy? Well, the message that I want to deliver to the panel of judges is that I am a very versatile person. So since this work requires traveling, I am capable to adapt any kind of situation and environment regardless of any situation. Through that, I can work professionally with high efficiency. For my educational background, I managed to graduate with CGPA of 3.61, which is a first class degree honor. Well, I know that 3.61 is just an ordinary pointer and I do understand that many people have performed it much, much better. But the reason why I'm showing off my CGPA is because of I am not a smart person, but yet I am a very hardworking person. I do work hard to get here now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. And I am graduated with high analytical and laboratory skill, in which I am a person of precision. Secondly, I am entrepreneurially trained with professional ethics. Well, throughout university, we do learn entrepreneurship in university. And lastly, international standards and quality management skills. Talking about my area of improvement, I am not very capable in working under pressure. What I mean is when you give me a last minute project, I will complete it eventually, but then it's, it is not in a very good quality form. But this can be improved since I am the type of person that always double or triple check the works that I've done. So if I've done a job with a very insufficient quality, then I will recheck and redevelop the works that I have done. Secondly, I am the type of person that are incapable of doing multitasking. Well, like I said just now, I do double check my works in which I am a man of focus. I do a certain work one by one, but not simultaneously. This is due to my personal principle that I must focus a certain work in order to get it done in a very good quality form. But indeed, like I said just now, knowledge is unlimited as well as skills. So in my point of view, I think that I can train myself to multitask slowly. Going for the last part, which is the Holland personality test. So I will be explaining my personality test by using three main alphabets. That is I, A, and E. So basically, I stands for investigative. This word means that I solve my problems through an ethical process. An ethical process means that any procedure of experiments will strictly follow series of standards. Investigative analysis can be related with this job scope, that is auditing. I understand that auditing is a very detailed procedure that needs to done specifically and seriously. Like I said just now, I am a chemist student. I have been trained to become an expert in analysis. Second alphabet, that is A, that means artistic. Basically, the terms artistic defined as a person that likes to do creative activities like arts, music composition, and many more. I like to relate creativity with versatility. I understand that this job requires to travel, and when it comes to travel, issues like convenience and comfort are always mentioned. Well, the issues won't bother me as I... This issue won't bother me as I am a very versatile person that I am capable to adapt to any kinds of situation regardless of time. I tend to solve problems in the most simplest method that follows standards. Lastly, the alphabet E means enterprising. Since I was in high school, I love to lead and persuade people. Miss that? I have been doing bunch business related things like doing small business. Aside from that, I did develop my business skills back in Starbucks. I deal with bunch of foreigners since my working place is listed under tourist itinerary into a guide. I have learned to deal and upselling Starbucks product as, as in food and beverage modifier. That is all from me. Once again, thank you for lending me your time and giving me this golden opportunity to participate in this job interview. I, I do hope that you can give me chances to serve your company and I'm sure the chances that you give me will be much, much appreciated. If you do have any inquiries, please do contact me through my email or my phone number and I will be happy to entertain you. Once again, thank you very much and have a nice day.